Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problems from the code forces round 5, 655, division 2, problem A, Omkar and completion. Though this contest is unrated, but we're going to discuss these questions because it's fun to learn new concepts from these questions. So the first question is very simple. You can see that you are given that you are given an array A or you have to actually make an array A and an array A of length N is complete if all the elements in the array are positive this is the first condition and they don't exceed 1000 and all the indices if you take any triplet xyz which is in like this array which is complete the sum of any two of the numbers should not be equal to the third number it is also the main thing in this question is not necessary distinct which means that x y and z all the three numbers should not be in like they should not be distinct the number should not be distinct. So you are also given that you are given whether this n array exists or not, which is a complete array. So you have to find out such array. You have to output. So you are given like five. You have to output some array. And first, when I see this question, I first take a copy and try to write out some test cases. But when I see the second test case in the example, the, the main thing strikes to me because as you can see, there are two same numbers. And because it is also given that if you add these two numbers there, as you can see, it is also shown that in the output above is valid for each test case. For example, because 44, as you can see in this, if you add 244, 44 is not equal to 340, 384. And thus, because if you take any two numbers, the third number is not present in there. And thus you can take numbers which are actually identical also. And then as you can see, there are two numbers identical. Then I first thought that okay can i make all the numbers identical because if i make every number identical then if i add any of the two numbers the the number which will be output as a result of the sum of the two numbers will be different because if i take one one the number will be two if i take two two it will be three or like four sorry so if everything is two right everything is two in the array or everything is one in the array if i add any two numbers then the, num the number will be something different and it will and like this is in this condition it is following this condition and thus my main thing is let's make everything one if they want like an array of size 5 just make a size 1 array an array of size 5 which has all ones because if you take any two numbers the summation will be 2 and it will be less than 1000 and uh, like it is following this condition and thus the question is very simple now you just have to output take down to the code part take the input of n just output an array of size n which is all ones and you just output this in this 40 test cases. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubt, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.